Okay, so I have my stick of wood, and I have this knife that I'm going to use to cut it. And then once I cut it into the, um, how many pieces I want, the size I want, then I'll glue it with this, and then I'm going to let it dry overnight, and then tomorrow I'll paint. Okay, so I cut a piece off, and I used this knife. Um, it wasn't, it was easy, because the wood isn't really that, like, dense and stuff. So, um, then I use, like, I have extra nail files, so I, a bunch of them. Oh, this is blue in the camera, but it's definitely purple. Anyways, um, so I use this to file the bottom of it because, um, it was uneven after I cut it. So I just use this to, like, file it so it's straight across. So now I'm going to just glue, glue it on. Okay, so I got glue on the bottom, and now I'm just going to place it. I didn't even think about where I'm placing this. Well, I guess I don't have a choice now. So there. I placed it. Yeah, so. And then I got, um, I'm not going to use these beads, they're too small. But I got these pennies to put, like, on them like this to, like, stop any, like, to, like, stoppers, kind of. But, like, when I, because I'm going to paint this, so I'm going to paint, the pennies are going to be the same color as what I painted, so. But that's the first one, so I'm going to come back after I put all of them on. Okay, so I got all the little pegs on here. And then I went back and took a brush and the glue and put extra glue like around the base just for like added security just to make sure just so that um it's secure on there because you know necklaces are heavy and I know I'll be getting more from this point so just to reassure that um they're on there tight so now I'm going to add on my little knob things and then I'll be back okay so I glued the pennies on they're all ready to be dried. So, I said before, I'm going to let this dry. I've, I'm going to be using um, this acrylic paint. Um, this is purple and then white. Um, I don't, I got the white because I want to see if I want to mix it to make a lighter purple, but we'll see. But yeah. Okay, so I just finished painting. Um, I painted everything purple, and then I added, um, try to spice it up a bit. I just put green dots and white dots just to make it look interesting. So yeah, so let it dry, and then next will be hanging. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to finally hang my necklace holder thing that I've made, and it's completely dry and sturdy now. So this is what my jewelry looks like right now. This is the jewelry tree. It's like one of those jewelry dress things, you know, but you can't even see what's inside because I have so many necklaces and it's hard to, like, remember what I have and find things in the morning. So that's why, I, one of the reasons why I made this. And it's just, yeah, it's just hard to see everything. Everything gets tangled. When I want to pick something that's in, like, down here, it's like, okay, how do I supposed to get it? Then everything gets tangled. And then I have this in my earring tree and then I made this thing for the rest of my earrings and then I have bracelets all in here and then I have this is not the right, right place so I have earrings like stud earrings that can't hang my rings and then more earrings that I have here so, so I'm focusing on my necklaces and getting them organized so this is before I'm using these um, two-sided sticky tab things up on the back. I'm going to put eight of them. I already put four down. Uh, you have a sticky on both sides. And you just peel this off, and then it sticks to the other side. Okay, I'm done now. And those are my necklaces, and I'm hanging. I put, like, silvers here, very long ones in the middle, and then, like, unique-looking ones over here, gold, kind of. So, yeah. So now, you can see my tree a little better. But yeah, but then I, I left the heaviest necklaces on here. And then, 
I put the lightest ones up there, so that's what it looks like. That's the final look. So the total cost, um, well I already had the paints and the paint brushes and the pennies, so that didn't cost me anything. So the board that I bought, this was um, $1.50, and then that long stick that I cut into to, to, make, the, to make the bars, that stick was um, 99 cents. And then that's all I bought. Yeah, I bought the wood and then the stick. And then I bought glue. Well, I already had glue, but I bought another one just in case it wasn't going to gonna hold. But the glue I bought was 59 cents. And it was just um, the glue I showed before. So, yeah. So, $1.50 was another dollar. Um, so it was like around three dollars to make this thing. So, yay, I'm excited, and hopefully, it will stay organized.